Now listen, I don't speak girl, but there was some... What's that coming to go? ...going on there. Please welcome the lovely Emma Roberts, everybody. Is that some kind of fancy designer? This is just something I picked out just for you, just to wear on the show. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's lovely. I, it would thank never fit you. me, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's, are you a very fashion-forward person? Um, I mean, I, I, I do love fashion. I said fashion-forward. That makes me sound like I know what I'm talking about. You do? About. Are yeah. you fashion-forward? A little bit. I've got the vest on, but that's to hide my enormous fleshy bulk. <laughs> There was some thin gentlemen on at the start of the show, and I was kind of envious of them. <laughs> well, you look great. I like the tie. It's very well, fashion forward. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> Is it fashion forward? Uh, very. A bit of colour blocking? <laughs> very colour blocking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do, do you watch the Project Runway? Um, I do, yeah. Oh, right. I, watch, I watch a lot of fashion shows. Uh, really? What are the other ones? I mean, Fashion Star, Fashion Runway. Man, you're really into I mean, this Project stuff. Runway. Project Runway, yeah. yeah. Love. Fashion Runway as well. That's a good one. <laughs> that should be a new one. That should be That'll a new be a one. Show. We could do that. I could be the Michael Kors character. <laughs> Like, not that he's a character, but you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> Have you yeah. ever met any of these people? Um, yeah, I was actually at the Met Ball in New York and... Uh, all SHUT THE... <laughs> for goodness sake! And all of them were there and I kept being like, oh my god, oh my god, looking all around, wow. back and forth. No, that's the big fancy one. What did you wear? Did you wear a gown? I wore a long gown. It was a yellow gown and I... It was nice very Nice choice. Yellow's very in. I loved it. And... Mm -hmm. But I had to lay in the car, like, lay sideways because to, not to wrinkle it getting to the event. So I was, like, not comfortable at all, at all heading there. But then I had a great time. Well, I used to have to lie down in cars, too, but... <laughs> I don't want to know. sometimes in a very constricting yellow dress. <laughs> but those were different times. <laughs> so tell me about the film. Now, the film is, uh, that was Rashida Jones. She's my friend. Oh, she's one of my favorite people in the world. I well, love her. I, I, I like her a lot. I don't know if I'm going to. Yeah, OK, I'll go there. Yeah, yeah, she's lovely. Um, yeah, the movie Celeste and Jesse Forever, it's, uh, it's one of those movies where I read it and I was just obsessed with it. And I met Rashida. We were supposed to meet for like a couple minutes for coffee. And it turned into like two hour conversation about everything. <laughs> Wow, really? A, yeah. a pillow fight and, and stuff? <laughs> Almost. Yeah, that's good. And uh, it was just really fun, and I had fell, fell in love with her and everyone else attached to it, and I was like, I need to be in this movie. Yeah. And I got to play a pop star, which was really fun. Can you sing? Um, yes, I can. Wow. I, uh, I actually, yeah, I recorded a song for, for the movie, which is wildly inappropriate, and you'll hear it when the movie comes out. <laughs> it's so funny. Really? Is it, does it have naughty words in it and stuff? Um, it's just kind of every pop song ever done combined into I one of ridiculousness. Now, did Rashida write this movie? Uh, Rashida co-wrote the movie and stars in it, and she also co-wrote the song that I recorded. So she's she did very everything. Clever. She's very, very clever. Yeah, she did a little yeah, bit of everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of worried this is the last I'm going to see of her because when this thing goes big, she'll never come back. Yeah, yeah she's amazing, and I, I saw the movie, and she was yeah. so good. She went to Scotland with me, you know, when I went there really? some time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that for? What did you guys do? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm originally from there, yeah. and we took the show over there, and uh, Rashida came along, and uh, she got very, very drunk, and everyone loved her. <laughs> she, she didn't. <laughs> no, I, do you, are you a big drinker? You're 21, aren't you? <laughs> um, no, I'm no, not. No. Absolutely. I just turned 21, actually. Oh, you did? Did you have a party? And, um, I, this is, I actually was shooting a movie when I turned 21 mm -hmm. in upstate New York, and I got a really bad case of tonsillitis, so I was in the hospital on my 25th birthday, but no! nothing related to drinking or fun, just that I had tonsillitis. I got so... tonsillitis when I was three. <laughs> really? I, which was, in fact, related to drinking, but I... <laughs> No, I, d I did get... I, I had my tonsils removed. Did you have your tonsils removed? I did, uh, but... Did you get to keep them? Uh, you know what? I actually was like, I want to see them, but they, they were not I into that think, at all. Yeah, I don't think that tonsils are... I mean, they always say I took your tonsils out, but whenever I meet people who have tonsils, I'm like, show us your tonsils, and they're like, You're, it just looks the same as not tonsils. <laughs> I have no idea. All I know is that tonsillitis is the worst thing ever. <laughs> no. No, there's... Shingles is the worst thing ever. <laughs> I got shingles last Christmas. Girl. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Worse? Oh, worse than tonsillitis, from what I can remember. Yeah, it was awful. I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah listen, this is the way you get to, you're 21, so now you've joined the ranks of old people, where all we do is sit around and talk about our ailments. <laughs> Welcome aboard, youngin. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Emma Roberts. <laughs> Yeah. 
It is true. Robert, who during the break uh, <laughs> thinks that I don't have water in here, that it's something stronger. I'm well, like, he, mm. it, you insinuated that you had something stronger and then made me feel weird for asking. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't make you feel weird. If you felt weird, you must own that for yourself. <laughs> for I did not make you feel weird. Your emotions belong to you. <laughs> Cost me a lot of money to find that out. <laughs> how I drink stuff. I was a blackout drunk for years. It's a habit I picked up. I drink water and I go... But it's water. All right. I mean, you can taste it if you want. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the other side, I don't have cooties. No, thank you. Right. I actually have my own water in this nice cup over here. Oh, look at that. Thank yeah, you. look. there's your class. That's how normal people drink water. <laughs> <laughs> look. Your Let's cup is way straight. better no, than mine, no, 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 though. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to tell you something right now. Okay. You're a young woman, and you're sitting on a couch talking to a creepy old man in a basement <laughs> with a bunch of people watching. Neither one of us is normal people. <laughs> okay. And true. that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Uh, how do you want to finish this up? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Awkward pause. Awkward pause. I'm very pleased that you chose that. Because when the uh, young thespians come in, I think the true actors always go for the awkward pause. Thanks for that little thing there as well. Huh? <laughs> Have we, we've started. Can we include a staring contest in the awkward pause? I was going to do smell my finger. No! Ah, so, so you admit you're grossed out by me. <laughs> great, that's a great way to go. You're grossed out by me, awkward pause. Staring contest. Is it no blinking or no laughing? No, you can do blinking and laughing. <laughs> to be, that's not a staring contest. <laughs> Right. Uh oh. <laughs> the lovely Emma Roberts, everybody. Right wow. I have to say, a very attractive studio audience. <laughs> And to the gentleman over there with the little Van Dyke beard who went, woo? <laughs> yes, you, sir. <laughs> Not who I meant. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, you're very attractive. I love that upside-down head look. Now... <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, the guy was trying to be nice, and I'm picking on, what the hell is this? <laughs> who have I become? <laughs> Do you like that? I was acting there. Do you like that? Careful, Icarus. <laughs> oh, he's all mad because he got a tweet. He got a tweet from someone that said, Careful, Icarus. <laughs> there you <are>. Careful, Icarus. <laughs> it sounds like a Sinbad movie or something with Icarus. <laughs> Careful, Icarus. Don't fly too close to the sun with your wax wings. You know, Father, I'm going to wear my wax wings. I'm going to fly, fly, close to the sun, very close to the sun, as close to the sun as I can possibly get wearing wax wings. <laughs> Careful, Icarus, with your wax wings and your Van Dyke beard. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I can't live by your rules. I want to look like my head's upside down. <laughs> While flying upside down, it'll look like my head's the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> which would be a situation where you would have to be careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Now. <laughs>